Good morning, investors and traders. This is Neymar, some chief market analyst at Evertrade, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. In today's analysis, we will be providing a bit more update on gold prices as we've discussed yesterday because gold price has entered in a major buy or a support zone. So let's have a bit more deeper conversation on this one. Before we do that, as always, it is important for us to go through this disclaimer and risk warnings. Anything which should be discussed cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors. Now, as always, I am going to bring the MT4 platform and we will look at the prices by looking at the daily time frame first. Now, on the, from the daily time frame, it is very clear that the price has entered deep into our area of support. So this is the area which we mentioned yesterday. We talked about that the prices are likely to move out of this zone strongly to the upside because the price has moved away from its 50 day simple moving average, which is in pink and followed by that is your 100 and finally your 200 day too far and too fast. Now, if you see the distance between the price and the gold prices, there is no doubt that gold prices are highly, highly attractive. Another important thing to pay attention is the RSI has reached a, an oversold area at the same time as well, because RSI is trading at 30, which is an area which is associated with oversold. So the odds are really stacking up in relation to gold prices to bounce from their current level. Because if we look at the price, the, the support zone from the previous time when the price was here, we can see that the price did bounce strongly from this particular price area and then it started to move higher. But if we do see a violation of this price area, uh, we, we can just slightly adjust our price uh, price levels a little bit more by encompassing the tail of this particular candle. Now, let me just show you what do I mean by that? Which area is that really I am referring to? So I'm really uh, looking at this particular candle. So we can just bring it down this support zone we can just fine tune it today a bit more and then we can just uh, put the lines on the top of this candle and one line on top on the uh, on the blue of this candle so let me just zoom in right over here to show you the which candle i am referring to so i'm talking about this particular candle by putting one line on the top of this candle and the other one at the bottom of this candle so that is just a refining of the area which is still 1773 to 1746 and remember the area is quite big quite large in terms of the risk to reward ratio but the important thing is to have a proper risk management tool meaning position sizing if this is too big of an area if this is too much of a of a, of a risk for you and if you are going to take three lots uh, for example in for in terms of gold to buy you may want to reduce that to two or you may want to reduce that to one just to make sure that your risk is managed accordingly because obviously the bigger the position the bigger the loss is likely to be especially when your support zone or your buy zones are this big but in my mind i think by looking at the technical analysis the technical analysis is really crying out clearly that the prices have gone too far too fast and reversal is strongly on the card and in the still we are likely to maintain our target the profit target near the, the 50 day simple moving average which is trading somewhere around 1852 so in terms of a risk to reward ratio you certainly have that because risk is only this much while the reward starts from here and then goes all the way to here and as you can see the prices have already turned positive while we were discussing this this price and now negative again but it seems like that the price is forming a bullish uh, candle and then from here the bounce is likely to happen all right that's all for now keeping it small and sweet 
and I'll see you guys next week.